Good day, folks. So if you watched my Karma Grip unboxing video, you might recall one of the things I mentioned I didn't like about it is that when you're filming, because I'm a right-handed person and I'm always holding it to my right, it's hard to see the screen because of this gimbal unit at the top, which for the most part, because of the wide angle of the lens, that's not an issue. You know, as long as you're pointing it in generally the right direction, you're going to film what you're meaning to film. But sometimes, you know, especially if you're in linear mode and you're filming something very specific, like a car show, I use that example a lot, but, uh, you know, you want nice, smooth shots. You want things lined up so they look nice. It just can be kind of a pain. Now, you can flip the karma over and film like that. That does give you a better view. But um, some angles just don't work properly like that. So I thought it would be kind of nice if I had a secondary screen mounted on the grip. Just, it's not something I would use every day. And probably 90% of the time I wouldn't use it, but if I'm filming something very specific that I really want to see what I'm filming, it would come in handy. And especially if you're filming with the Karma grip mounted on some kind of pole, you know, and the Karma's way, you know, 10 feet in front of you, 5 feet, whatever, um, you want to be able to see what you're filming. So I've kind of come up with one solution, and I've tested it, and it seems to work pretty well. So I'm just going to power off the Karma grip here. And what I'm going to do, uh, this is just the GoPro pole and handlebar mount. And it just fastens on there ever so nicely. So yeah, I now have the bike mount on the Karma Grip. And I found this kicking around. I got it with something I can't remember quite. It is a phone mount and it has a GoPro mount at the bottom there. So I am going to attach it there like that. We'll put in a screw. So now we are going to mount our cell phone and we'll just put it in there like that. Make sure it's in there nice and firm. And voila, we now have a nicer video feed for our Karma. Now what you would have to do is launch your capture app. Now I've got the capture app synced to my session, which is what I'm filming on right now. So I can't uh, bring that up. But yeah, but you can get the idea. So now you can have a nice view of what you're filming. Alternatively, now what you can do is mount the same setup to your El Grande or whatever pool of choice you are using. So yeah, as you can see here, I have the Karma Grip mounted to the El Grande extension pole. And I have the video feed mounted to the pole. So when we extend this, you can now see what you're filming. So if you're filming a concert and you've got this thing up high above the crowd, you can get a good view of what you're seeing. So yeah, that's really handy. Um, I like that setup. There's some weight to this, but uh, that's the nice thing about the El Grande is that it's comfortable. They've got the grip, um, you know, a fair amount of grip there. So you can control this with two hands and uh, still get the shots that you need. So yeah. That does work quite nicely. So yeah, you can get nice stabilized shots and still have a good view of what you're filming. So we're just outside now and I'll just show you a bit of a demonstration. You can see I've got it attached to the El Grande pole, the Karma Grips at the end, and I've got the smartphone mounted on the El Grande pole. And by moving it, I can still see what I'm filming especially when doing tall shots. You can angle the phone however you need it and still get a nice view of what you're filming. So yeah, that works really well. And again, for low shots, if you're down doing small animals, maybe a dog, you can uh, get some good views of what you're filming without having to bend over too much and hurt your back. So yeah, that is that. I'll include all the links down in the description for all the parts I used to uh, build this. And uh, you can check them out if it's something that you're interested in. Well folks, that's it for this video. Hopefully the video quality was okay. I'm filming it on my session five because I had to use my phone for the demonstration and it's usually what I film on. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.